welcome to the seventh instalment of our weekly review show here on our YouTube channel. A much smaller episode this week, with only two games to look back on from across the club's teams. And we start by looking back at the first team's game against Hartley Whitney. Unfortunately, no full match footage from the game, but Rocky Neal's goal midway through the first half proved to be enough to give the White Tigers all three points in Hampshire. We caught up with manager Paul Watton, who shared his thoughts after the game. So, Paul, a 1 0 win over Hartley Whitney. A game with Pops only the one goal, but a, a pretty dominant performance in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, I'm really, really pleased today. Um, nine points from the week. Um, so, started the week at, at Gosport. Um, and we had to, when, you're, when you're chasing a last minute winner, you have to keep going right to the end. Yeah, we had to keep going right to the end. Boys get back at two in the morning and then they go to work. And it's not everyone does it. You know what I mean? It's not an issue. It's not an excuse for today's like leggy performance. It's, it's not an excuse. It's just it's a fact. And you know, lots of teams in our league have done it this week, but we've come away from here and I asked them to be dogged. And I thought the three centre backs were outstanding. Um, you know, I'll George Newton fired City in front in the first seventh minute, minute before Ben Shaw no doubled the lead six minutes later. Um, and listen, we had we had uh, Shaw then scored a brace four minutes into the second half to complete his hat trick. Is where we should put the game to bed, but. Um, Defender Jamie Edlin, Edlin made it 5 0 with a stunning solo goal as he ran from his own half um, before. You know, with the slope Jamie the Edlin then made it 5 0 with a stunning right solo goal as he ran from his massive, own half before Finn Harrison tucked home a penalty. Year, really Harry Luckett scored a free kick for the host right late on, but the game was true. Harry Luckett scored a free kick for the host late on, but the game was true. Even that's right down his throat where he has to save it. He hasn't had a save to make, so. Which is really important. And like I said, the, the, the three centre backs were, were magnificent today. And as, as you said, it was the nine points from possible nine, and the undefeated run now goes to ten games. That's we're in we're in a good place at the minute, aren't we? Going into a, another busy schedule. Yeah, we're in, a, we're in a good place, but it's um, you never you know you never hear me, you know when we score, I don't go mad, I don't run on the pit, I don't do, you know, it's I'm very calm about it all, and it's um, we've had a good start, but. You know, it's just a start. You know, and long may it continue. But we we just have to keep working really, really hard, and you can't rest on your laurels, and you can't get complacent. And you know, it's just what is what's how many games is there left? Thirty six. Like Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. so anyone who's looking at the league table at the minute is a bit deluded. So. We're, um, we're enjoying it while it lasts. So the White Tigers made it 10 games undefeated in the Southern League Premier South after a 1-0 win over Hartley Whitney in Hampshire on Saturday. And attention has now turned to the FA Trophy as the White Tigers take on Salisbury here at Belifo Park on Sunday with a slightly earlier kickoff of 1pm. It was a mixed bag of results against the Whites last season with Truro winning 3-1 away from home in August last season before Salisbury in March came here to Belifo Park and won by the same scoreline. Paul Watton's men are back in league action on Wednesday night here at Belifo Park as they take on Swindon Supermarine, looking to make it 11 games undefeated in the Southern League Premier South. Kickoff here is at 7.45. John Fabby's reserve side have moved up to fourth in the St Pyrrhon League after a 6-1 away victory over Porth Levin on Saturday. Here's all the goals. George Newton fired City in front in the first seventh minute before Ben Shaw doubled the lead six minutes later. Shaw then scored a brace four minutes into the second half to complete his hat-trick. Jamie Edlin then made it 5-0 with a stunning solo goal as he ran from his own half before Finn Harrison tucked home a penalty. Harry Luckett scored a free kick for the host late on, but the day was Truro's. The reserves will be looking to make it through to the second round of the Cornwall Intermediate Cup as they take on ground-sharing neighbours Perrinwell at Tregaia Fields on Saturday. Kick-off there is 2pm. Finally, the under-18s kicked off their DGM League campaign with an emphatic 19-0 victory over Saltash Youth at Callieworth College on Sunday. And they're in action this coming weekend as they take on Shadowwood Miners away from home on Sunday afternoon. For action and reaction from both the first team's games here at Belifo Park against Salisbury and Swindon Supermarine, as well as action from the reserves and the under 18s, tune into next week's episode. I've been Cameron Weldon, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.